My name is Jesse Mwai. I am a pastor with Crisis Yansa Ministry. Currently, I am serving as a senior pastor in our church in Woodley. I take this opportunity to welcome you to Sitam Church Online. And in this series, I want to engage with us and engage with you as we consider the topic, the path to your destiny. Every one of us has a divine destiny, as we shall discover, especially as we journey through this series together. See, the Bible says in the book of Romans, chapter 12 and verse 2, do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you'll be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. In other words, there's a destiny, a divine destiny for every last one of us. It doesn't matter who you are, whether you're great, whether you're small, it doesn't matter where you've been born, whether you're educated or not educated, or your status in life. There is a divine destiny for every last one of us. And according to this scripture that I've just read to us, the Bible tells us that when we have been renewed in our minds, our lives have been changed, that we will be able to test and approve what God's will is. In a nutshell, what the Apostle Paul was saying, that we will be able to find God's destiny for every one of our lives. And in this series, I'm going to be looking at two characters in the Bible. Two ladies, actually, and both their names actually start with the letter R. The first one is a character Ruth, and the other one is Rahab. Both of these ladies, wonderful ladies, uh, we find and we will discover how their lives were transformed. And both of these women found their destiny. And what is also amazing is that both of these women ended up in the genealogy or in the ancestry of our Lord Jesus Christ. Both of them were completely unlikely to belong to the lineage of Jesus Christ. Why? Because Ruth, on the one hand, was not a child of Israel. Rahab also was not a child of Israel. She was not a daughter of Abraham. Both of them were actually foreigners to the covenants of the nation of Israel, as we shall discover. Ruth was a Moabite, while Rahab, on the other hand, was a Canaanite. Remember Rahab from the city of Jericho. But both of these women, because they did a few things, they were put on the path of their destiny. I believe that you and I can also find that path because you and I have a particular destiny that God has in store for us. See, a lot of people live their lives trying to find that path, trying to discover why was I made? You know, where, what does my life mean? Where is all this leading to? We go to school, we work so hard, we try this, we put our hands in there, uh, we try to change careers, sometimes we try to change our relationships, all in the search for destiny. Now, I'm going to be sharing with us just some seven things that I believe very, very simple from the Word of God, that if you and I would uh, incorporate these things in our own lives, I believe we can find ourselves on that path that will lead to our destinies. Let me just very quickly highlight those seven things that will be coming from the story of Ruth and Rahab. And uh, the first one is the power of a paradigm shift. We'll be talking about that how you need to activate your faith for you to find that path to your destiny. You must be willing to go the distance. Number four, there is always the connection factor, divine connections. Number five, we must adopt an attitude of humility. And number six, we must also have a servant's heart. And then finally, number seven, we'll be looking at a spirit of submission. Now, in all this seven things that I have highlighted, you will find them in these two ladies, Ruth and Rahab, and how they incorporated them in their own lives, humble women. But eventually, God used these women to be in the lineage of Jesus Christ. I believe that you and I, too, have that divine destiny, and I want you to welcome you into this journey as we journey together. May the Lord bless you even as we meet in the next broadcast. You have been watching Sitam Church Online, and I want to take this opportunity to welcome you and invite you to engage with us. We are on YouTube. You can also find us on uh, Facebook, or also on Instagram, and also on Twitter. We want to hear from you, and God bless you 
even as you make a choice to engage with us. 